Hello, my name is Rand Baldwin. Welcome to the Soaring Cafe. I'm pleased to announce that we have arrived at the SSA Soaring Convention in Reno, Nevada. We are here in the exhibit hall, and standing beside me is Andre Kolar, one of the co-founders of Navitur. Navitur is a company that uh, developed and sells the uh, fabulous uh, CU soaring analysis and tasking software, as well as the ODI. And uh, they've, they've just announced a new product in the ODI line. It's the ODI IGC, which incorporates an IGC approved flight recorder. And Andre is going to tell us a little bit about the, uh, this new product. Yes, um, I'm happy to say that here at the SSA conference, we actually have the finished product, which we can show to everybody. And the certification is practically finished and we started the serial production. We, we are planning to be ready for, uh, for sales in, about in a few weeks. So we are already taking pre-orders for the ODI IGC. It's uh, based on the OD2. It has the same screen, it has the same computer, it has the same computing power. It adds, um, it adds uh, an approved flight recorder, which uh, also includes uh, engine noise level recording, which means it is also uh, useful for the people who fly powered uh, sailplanes. It will have the full IGC approval for world records and uh, we are just waiting for, for getting them finished and shipped to, to, the, to the states. Well, I understand the IGC approval is imminent, just a few weeks. Exactly, yeah. Uh, the, uh, the approval has already been uh, uh, conducted, uh, and the, the, uh, the, issue, the issue of the approval itself is uh, just a matter of a uh, few weeks. Great. I'm looking forward to getting one myself. I understand that uh, it contains its own battery, right? It does. It has a large battery. This is why it is slightly thicker than the normal uh, OD2. Uh, it, it can run autonomously for uh, 14 hours, up to 14 hours with full uh, backlight, um, uh, sunlight readable. Um, and, um, this is, and it only weighs uh, 150 gram more for this. It, it's still possible to mount it on the canopy. Uh, and it fits uh, the same uh, cradles as the OD2, so it's e really easy to replace an OD uh, with the OD IGC. Oh, fantastic! So it'd be a great instrument, uh, not only as your main uh, flight recorder, but uh, for clubs to use, since it uh, could be mounted on a canopy or on a ram mount. Yes, exactly. We get we we get a lot of uh, feedback from from air clubs who who uh, put ODs into all of their ships so that they have a unified. Uh, uh, navigation system which is uh, cost effective and simple to use. Or if you're a pilot uh, who owns a, your own sailplane but you rent gliders elsewhere you could take this with you. Exactly. Especially people who go overseas to fly uh, rented gliders uh, from Europe they go to Africa or, or Australia uh, they, they, they love the Audi because they, it keeps the same navigation system which they are used to in their other glider. In the well, thank you so much, Andre. That's exciting news. Thank you, Farrell. And we have also with us today uh, your U.S. representative Hi, for Navitor. It's Roy McMaster, an old friend. Yeah, it's great good, to good to see you, too. Can you keep the emphasis on CU, please. Yes, we will. Yes, yes. CU's been around for a long time, and it's uh, a top-of-the-line flight uh, analysis and task uh, uh, planning program. Well, hard to get the IGC out but they've also been working on the software in the background and there's a new piece of software that's a free download for the PC that anybody who owns an ODI needs to download and install. It's free, you hook up your ODI, it's called the ODI Updater and it automatically goes when you're connected to the internet over to Slovenia to the Navitir home site, gives you the most recent firmware for running the mobile program that's the basis of the program updates the airspace files, also updates the maps, and if you're using FLARM, it updates the power FLARM interface as well. So it's very, very important. If you've got an ODI, you want to download this, it's free. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get one here at the, I'm going to get the update here at the convention for my ODI. I brought it with me. So uh, you just plug it in and say update, and it'll do it. We don't have to do anything else. Great. Simple is great. Simple. I love the great simple. The, these Geniuses over there in Slovenia figured out us glider pilots are pretty thick-headed, and you got to make it simple, stupid. And they've done that, 
just plug it in and it does it. That's that's what it does, and that's that's what's needed. So, great. We're very excited about that. Another thing that people want to get uh, connected with is the CU Cloud. If you're in the CU program, you'll see the little cloud icon on the upper left corner. Simply click on that and register so that your uh, email address is in there and you have to create your own password. Then you upload your flights to the cloud and then any piece of software or any piece of PC device, iPhone, iPad, laptop, you can go to the cloud and look at those flights on any of them or somebody else's laptop. You can look at your flights by going to the cloud and downloading them to look at. So it's a very seamless way to make the flight logs accessible anywhere. So Wonderful. Yeah, that's a wonderful product. You guys have been working hard in the background all winter long. I'll say. Well, thanks so much. I appreciate your uh, spending some time with us. We're happy that you came here to the convention and hope that people come by and look at these products. They're super. Great. Well, this is Rand Baldwin reporting for the Soaring Cafe.